How are you doing guys? I'm Sean. And I'm Sheena and we are speaking up for the animals. Guys, today's video, uh, can I start off by thanking you all so much for your lovely comments and support uh, on the previous video. Really, really appreciate it. Um, so look, this video here is coming about because we're both animal rights activists here in Belfast. And you know, when you're out and you're watching the graphic images, may they be at the, like, the cube of AV or you're online, you're researching, you're watching what's happening to the animals. It's hard not to take on that negative vibe. And you were seeing it more and more with activists out there. They're getting overwhelmed with it. And that's what this video here is going to be all about, you know. Okay, so I'm going to tell a wee bit about my personal story, first of all, and what makes this story so close to our hearts. Um, I had extremely bad panic attacks in my 20s, lasted about three years. Not going to go into all the details now, but I found ways and mechanisms that helped me cope. And obviously, as I've got older, I found lots of different tri tricks and techniques to um, make sure that you are mentally keeping strong, keeping healthy, and also keeping very balanced in your day to day life. 100%, because it's very, very important. Um, you know, you may realize this, you may not realize it. What we're putting into the mindset is going to affect us, it's going to affect us mentally, spiritually, physically. And when we're out doing activism, it's going to be like really overwhelming. Mm -hmm. I went through six years of depression, uh, you know, suicidal tendencies. I struggled with that, heavily into drink and drugs and all that jazz. You know, thankfully that's a long way away. Um, I was a holistic therapist, so I just want to stress, we're not doctors, we're not professionals. The, the advice we're going to be giving you yeah. is just that. It's just our advice. Yeah. Our it's own just our, it's just our experience in, during life. We are uh, in our autumn years, so we have some interesting, we think, and hopefully helpful tips and advice to um, to help you if you are having a hard time, particularly when you're doing vegan outreach and vegan activism, because it is, it's heavy. We're very lucky. We come home after doing our activism and we're able to bounce off each other all evening if it takes it until... Bounce off each other? Get <laughs> me uh, <laughs> in the belly then. <laughs> to share our experience of how we have found activism during the day. So we're very lucky to be able to um, share our feelings and thoughts in a very safe and protected space that we can and then get comfort from each other uh, knowing that you know that we can talk to each other so we're very very lucky in that yeah, way indeed, um, a lot of people go home and they've maybe done outreach all day and they may be sitting on their own or um, they don't really feel that they can connect with family or friends who maybe are not vegan and definitely aren't activists so um, first and foremost it's very very important I think after we do an activism outreach um, is to connect with those vegans around you who are in the exact same situation as you. If you've done Cube of Truth, go for a coffee with the guys after. Chill out, talk about other things. Become yourself again. Become Sheena, become Sean, become John, Jane, whoever. And if you've done a save or a meet the victims, hang out with those people afterwards so that you're not just taking yourself from that environment straight into um, back to work or... Um, sitting at home on your own would just be horrendous. It offload because basically yeah. it's easy for us as activists and you know you may not actually be doing outreach you may be your form of activism may be online yeah. sharing content yeah you know what I mean and uh, you know putting out uh, leaflets handing out leaflets in the town and different things like that there's many forms of activism we're talking about if she says or if you're constantly watching stuff you're constantly being bombarded with the negative and let's face it it is negative it is. it's hard it's hard you, know to I mean? you have to realize and you might think you're immune to it none of us is immune to mental torture or mm. mental stress you know what i mean because basically if you're constantly watching animals losing their lives yeah. graphic images of it and you're sure and, and you said yourself you feel your whole energy being drained yeah so it's very, very important to balance. That's why, as Sheena says, we're lucky we have each other. We put a lot of humour into our lives because that's very important. Because every negative experience that you're experiencing, you try to put at least three to four positive, happy yeah. experiences in yeah. to balance it off. So, and and don't, good, don't feel guilty about doing that. Don't feel saying. guilty about <laughs> it. Snap. Don't feel guilty about having fun. Don't yeah. feel guilty about needing to switch off. You know, when you're, especially social media, especially, um, you know, you're scrolling past, seeing, you know, nice stuff, and then all of a sudden, boom, there's an image of a cow getting hung upside down. Yeah. It's horrendous. As a vegan and as a vegan activist, you don't want to look away. You want to give that animal the respect it deserves by at least spending a couple of minutes with it in its final moments, trying to work out ways that you can stop that happening. Yeah. Of course, that's what we do. 
But don't More be, that, yeah, yeah. But don't be yeah. doing that the last thing before you go to sleep. That is going to be yeah. imprinted on your mind, Definitely. and you're going to torment yourself. So, you know, switch, turn the phone off, turn it off if it, you find it's becoming too much. If you are finding that you're having sleepless nights, worrying about it, um, you're not. Um, We're not robots. Don't, don't yeah. That way. Don't feel guilty for doing that. It no. is okay to not think about it 24 there's hours there's too a day. many people out there is telling us what we do or what we can't do or what we have to do. i suppose we're sharing our information yeah. here so tactically but we're not but telling you what to do no. we're just asking you just to look at what us. works best for us yeah. but the guys we all need laughter yeah we all need humor and if you go through your life believing that the, the only thing exists is that graphics that we get to see or the only thing we see is is that there's people still consuming animal parts or we're not you know winning this revolution to get people to switch on and become vegan. If you constantly overwhelm yourself with that, you will start to feel depleted. You will start to see negative. You'll start to say, yeah. what's the use? And this is why it's very, very important. It's all about walking in balance, main yeah. body and spirit, or main body and soul, whatever you want to say it. Um, it's very, very important. As Sheena says, or especially even at night time, you know, put some time to say, because if you're constantly sharing the vegan stuff, that's well and good, that's fantastic, but take a break from it. Mm -hmm. You know, don't feel guilty don't about feel because guilty. you're feeling overwhelmed. Feel because yeah. there's no vegan activists out there more important than any other vegan activist. You know, some will probably have you believe that they are, but the fact is, is that the animals need you, but more importantly, they need you well. Yeah, they, they need, need you, you to be good focused health. They need you on yourself, health. get yourself <clears throat> well, making sure what you watch, put some comedy, listen to some music, yeah. aromatherapy bath, reflexology. Mm -hmm. Start to put some pampering in. Yeah. It doesn't matter whether you're male or female. And you know, you know, we're very lucky as well to um, you know, to be able to afford ourselves. We should afford ourselves some time for self care <clears throat> as well. And by that, I find what works best for me, uh, well the number one thing is to switch off and to allow myself to enjoy life as well. Um, we are very, very privileged um to be given this wonderful life, I believe. Mm -hmm. Um and obviously we hear so much about suicide and people taking their own lives and the impact that that has on the people around them if you are feeling that way please 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 try and find some help and whatever out. reach out in whatever form that means to you yeah. but what i have found that that helps me is is self-care and self-love and when you truly expect, sp spend time finding the things that you love and enjoy i've come out of relationships in the past where I haven't even known what color I like. So to, fa to spend time with yourself, really connecting with who you are and what you love and the music you love yeah. and the books you love yeah, to read and not what books your partner likes to read yeah. or what films your partner likes to watch, you. what you yeah. like to watch and read and spend time doing that. Do not feel guilty for doing that. And eat well, eat the best food that you can eat to put into your body. I know it's going to sound very happy, but your body is a temple and you shouldn't be putting crap into it. You should be trying to fill your body with the most nutrient dense food that you can. I like a glass of wine like anybody else. Try not to make that or one of your five a of day. <laughs> Don't make that one of your five a day. It's not. <laughs> um, you know, eat well, exercise. Even if you are feeling tired or lethargic, Get out and walk around the block for five minutes if that's all you can manage. If, you're, if your muscles are sore, your body's sore, just breathe, stretch, do something that keeps your body moving, that keeps your body feeling vital. Again, I'm extremely lucky not to have any health issues that prevent me from exercising. I'm not always 100% motivated to go, but when I do go, I never regret it. You will never regret your trip to the gym or your trip out to the shops with a nice walk, even if it's raining. So for me, those are the two Food and diet are the two most important things to keep myself healthy and then all the tips that you share too. Yeah, I agree, 100%. Because you see, as Sheena was even explaining there, it's, it's, it's connected to yourself. It's easy to give your power away to everybody else. You know, it may be commendable to some people. I love my partner, so therefore I'm going to do what my partner wants to do. But you need to have your own space. You need to have your own things in life. I'm not going to re recap what Sheena said, but basically... It is actually all about reconnecting with your higher self. You know, I'm into a lot of the spiritual stuff, like reconnecting in nature, getting out in nature. Yeah. To me, personally, that's one of the big hitters, 
is to reconnect to a Mother Earth, the nature. Yeah. They get into the woods somewhere. Beside get on the sea, the up a mountain. You yeah. know, if you're physically able to get up a mountain, do it. And because, if, you can't, yeah. if you can't get to the mountain, you can't get the head. You're, you're living in the centre of New York or even the, <laughs> go to the park. But yeah. even wherever you are, there must be a bit of green space. And if there's not a green space, if you're even housebound and your activism's online, Get yourself an MP3 player, download some bird song, mm-hmm. some nature sounds, yeah. let an incense sick man put it out there and relax, learn to meditate. And That's make your, yeah, meditation of course, and make your home your safe space, make your home a place that you enjoy being. Yeah. You know, I'm not saying you have to spend thousands of pounds on, on uh, fancy furniture or whatever, but make your home the place that you love. You know, there's nothing I love. I'm very lucky again to have a job that I love. I don't. It's not a stressful job by any stretch of the imagination, and I work with children. And um, the fun and energy that I get from working with the children is fantastic. I don't know if I would how I would be if I had a nine to five job that I hated. I don't know where I would be at in my head, but I know that I'm very lucky to have a great job. But I still enjoy It'd be coming hard home. <laughs> I still enjoy coming home. To I have three beautiful cats. Um, three boys and they're just what are they like <laughs> one devilish handsome Beyonce oh yes I forgot about him <laughs> where is he coming home to my cats what are you joking <laughs> yeah, so oh guys, another top tip don't live together <laughs> I said we can't live together and that's all about space but we're that together, is about space yeah we're together about two and a half years over two and a half years over two and a half years yeah. you know and we, we've agreed from day one that we wouldn't live together so I have my own place and that's not a negative Sheena's thing that's, that's not a we're negative we're sad yeah. about each other yeah. And it's just so that we have our own space and we have our own identity. I like punk music. He hates it. So I like to cook in the kitchen, put some bad religion on, really, really loud. Really bad. <laughs> and we're into like Nat King Cole or relaxing music. Like, you know what I mean? Not, not the punk. Like our ska music will, will do. Yeah, maybe. a bit of ska maybe. Yeah. But the thing is, is that recapture fun in your life. Keep yeah. fun in your life. Don't get too overwhelmed. And this is, remember Sheena was saying there about reconnecting to yourself, yeah, that, you know, 100%. get yourself. When you do that, you become more intuitively aware of what's happening. And this is a thing, and I guarantee you can experience this. You start to feel a wee bit off. You may be a wee bit snappy with your partner or friends and they'll start to notice. This is after watching the like a Dominion or yeah. doing a couple of days back to back activism. And you're not too sure where the crabbiness is. You start to look and say, what's happening? Why am, I, why am I more crabby? When you start to become more intuitively aware, you'll start to feel... The energy level, the fear, the anxiety rising. And at that stage, that's when you put the handbrake on. Mm -hmm. That's when you stop and say, right, enough of the activism. The activism is going to be there, sadly, whenever I come back from this. I'm taking a step back from it. I'm going to take a wee bit of me time. I'm going to just recapture my thoughts. And I'm going to to, uh, come back much fitter Mm -hmm. and stronger. The problem is so many activists are out there plowing on, plowing on, and fair play on them. Yeah. But you only have to look at what happens to them. They get mm-hmm. burnt out, and then you see what happens. It's the, the walk away from the activism altogether. Yeah, because it's too much. Whereas Think if they had have taken, yeah, if they had have taken that short break, yeah. spent some time just with themselves. Now, this video um, might just feel as if it's all about us or all about um, you know human beings as opposed to animals. This is so that we as human beings can give the very best that we can to the animals. Yeah. We're, you know, if we are exhausted, anxious, depressed, we need to step back and look after ourselves. Yeah. Social media, I think, is fantastic. Um, I do sometimes enter into debates online, um, but once I start to find that it's becoming really, really heavy, I'll back right off. I will not st- stay in it. I don't use offensive language online. I don't use aggressive language online, but if I find that that that, that the conversation you is coming back, you put a lot back, of your heart into it. I do, yeah, and you I can't do. Take it on, you know. Yeah, but the, you, I know my limit. I know when to stop. I know that there's no point in going any further with this person or this group, and I'll come away from it. And I have no objections with blocking somebody that my gut instinct is telling me this isn't right for you. I and, used to be a keyboard warrior. Yeah. And she does not, by the way, but I did. I used to be, I used to constantly, it was like a magnet, looking up the online debates, like, you know what I mean? And I, I don't really, I really don't believe it do take it into much money. No, you don't actually, not anymore. Very rarely, yeah. you know, very rarely. I would leave comments, Yeah. Uh, but I step back from it. In other words, I'm more smarter than I would actually leave a comment and let everybody else fight amongst themselves mm-hmm. if that's what they want to do, especially if you drop a, a truth bomb somewhere Yeah. and you hear that debate. And if somebody's going to call you something, here's the thing. 
You're going to get a lot of hate. If you've got a YouTube channel or you know a Facebook page, and you're going to get a lot of criticism, even from family and friends, even if you haven't, mm-hmm. about being an activist, and they give you negative shit. Like, you know, I always say that if you go onto YouTube and you look for a video, or a video, and this is true, there's a video called something along the lines of uh, "My Baby Hears for First Time mm-hmm. and Almost Cries." I now, I want you to go and seek this out. Yeah, I do. Almost and it's a viral it's video, and it's a wee newborn it's baby who's got to be hearing aids. I wear hearing aids. This wee baby was given hearing aids and heard his mummy speak for the first time. And the mummy's going, hello, I love you. Viral video, couple of million views on it. Yeah. There's something like, I don't know, 70,000 positive likes on it. But there's like 7,000 or 12,000 dislikes. I know. And, and the wee baby's face all lights up when he hears his, who, he or she hears his mummy's right voice. Mind is going who is going to hate a baby? A baby hearing for the first time. So if you're going to get hit or you're going to get called something online about being a vegan this or yeah. vegan that, or you're a scumbag, or you're this or you're that. Try to imagine that wee baby, and try to imagine all the ones who give it a dislike. Oh. Do their opinions really matter? No, like? no they don't. Uh, so don't be taking it personal. I know. Talk to people. As Sheena says, check out people, family, friends, uh, self-help groups. Um, if you've got stress, go to your doctor, go to your um, counsellor. You know, there's so many Actively look out, out things that work for you. And, yeah. you know, a, a lot of people, I think, are against medication and stuff like that. There, It doesn't have to be the first protocol if you don't want to take an antidepressant or an anti-anxiety. But for some people, that really works. And I have friends and colleagues who would not be here today if they were not on those medications. Yeah. <clears throat> so don't dismiss them. They do work yeah. for some people. And you don't get hooked into it all your life. You know what I mean? No. It could be a step gap to get you through it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, complementary therapies yeah. is not alternative therapy. It's complementary. It's going to work alongside. Work alongside in balance. You know? So that means things like massage, meditation, Reiki, um, aromatherapy, back aromatherapy floor remedies. Always back floor, back floor rescue remedy is fantastic yeah. um, for anxiety or panic attacks. I used to use yeah. it when I was flying, and honestly, fantastic. Yeah. Um, so, but for me, the thing that that helped me the most with my panic attacks was exercise because you couldn't feel anxious and be working really hard in a step class at the same time and the two sort of balance each other out and then as I grew in physical strength my my mental health and strength grew also and so now I still incorporate exercise almost at least six days a week um, and I just I really enjoy it I feel sort of m- something missing if it's not in my day but um, mine would be more um, aromatherapy oils, yeah. lighting a candle, relaxing, reading a book, but a meditation, mm-hmm. uh, getting out and about. But my Your biggest thing is photography, of course. Your photography. No, uh, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, that's my form of medication for me. Yeah, medication. <laughs> meditation rather than medication. Yeah. Uh, but basically, yeah, my my thing is is to who realize that it's getting too much. Yeah. And then I stop, and if I just say that. This here is getting a wee bit too much. The activism is getting a bit too much. I make sure I don't watch it. Uh, going to bed at night time. Don't be, hot. don't be looking about the YouTube videos about animals being slaughtered. Mm-hmm. It, it's not good for your mindset. Getting up in the morning. Be very careful what you slide into social media. And you can, by the way, unfollow pages and yeah. groups and people if they constantly share constant graphic images. And again, don't After feel guilty. Much, it's nothing yeah, personal. Still guilty. friend them. You know. Still dip into their, their, their pages. But don't follow them if they're mm-hmm. constantly sure on the content that you don't want to see. Don't be afraid to say it's too much. Yeah. So guys, basically, I hope we've covered a few things here. All we want to say to you is, is that um, look after yourselves. Yes. It's, you're not weak if you don't want to be seeing the graphic images or they're too much or you want to switch off for a while. But remember, the animals do need us. You're, you know, so come back if you're, you're not involved in any groups. You're feeling a bit, but do as much. Share the content online if you want. But look after yourself first. Mm-hmm. And that sounds awful selfish, but you have to look after yourself first. You do. And then you can help others yeah. afterwards, you know. And thank you so much for watching. Thank yeah. you so much. <laughs> and if you haven't already done so, please do give the video a wee like. Consider uh, sharing it. Subscribe and hit the wee notification bell. You can check us out on Facebook and also on Instagram. Guys, send us love from Belfast. Oh, And feel free to share any of your tips that you have Brilliant found idea. help with any sort of anxiety or depression or anything that you have found really works for you. And we can spread that message too. Definitely. Thank you. Send your love from Belfast. <laughs>